So hello and welcome back to another Geek Panda Tech unboxing video. So today we have the Umi Digi A9 Pro. So let's have a quick look around the box. So on the front we have the Umi Digi logo smartphone and we have the color of forest green. Nothing around the other sides of the phone, but on the back we have a little list of specs. So we have the CPU, which is an MTK Helio P60 4 core. The system is Android 10. It has six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. It supports dual nano SIM and a micro SD card. It has a battery of 4,150 milliamps. The screen is 6.3 inches. The cameras are a 48 megapixel, a 5 megapixel, a 16 megapixel, and a 5 megapixel front facing camera. And it supports this huge list of <laughs> networks. Unfortunately, of course, it's not 5G for the, fo the, for the price you'll be paying at this range. So, without any more talk, let's get into the box. And of course, we're greeted straight away by the phone. So, of course, as we've said already, it has a 48 megapixel quad core, quad camera array, even. Now, the thing that really got me about this phone and the reason I bought it is it's got this non-contact infrared thermometer. So we shall be taking a little look at that and see how that works. Type C port and of course stock Android. So let's get this out. Let's have a little look around. So of course it comes with a pre-installed screen protector. So let's take that off. That worked very well. Let's try and peel that off without peeling the protector off as well there we go and it is already inside the case at the moment and of course we got that camera array just there so let's quickly take the case off let's grab this sticker off it was done very badly but we've got this protector at the back that just tells you all the different specs so you've got the 5 megapixel there 16 megapixel 48 megapixel and 5 megapixel and of course the infrared thermometer just there also shows you the fingerprint scanner on the back the sim card slot 4g 4g and micro sd card customizable button for your voice assistance power button and volume rocker so let's take this off and we created by this actually really nice looking back i mean i'm sure it can get pretty wow look at that i love the way the light hits that that is actually a really nice looking phone i really like that design on the back it's super shiny like <laughs> the light is almost blinding me but it's got this really nice cool mirrored effect on the back i really like it so let's get this booted up let's try and rub that air bubble out there and let's leave it to one side let's have a look what else we get so you have the manual sim card tray remover a9 pro thanks for choosing an umi digi product uh not a uk plug but of course i've got plenty usb adapters now that feels really light as well there's not much weight into that i don't think i'd like to use that either way <laughs> And the cable you get is this lovely red color, which blends in lovely, of course. There you go, your USB-C to USB-A. Just another normal standard cable, and that is, that's it. So let's put all that to one side, let's get back to the phone. And I will go and set this up, and I will be right back. And we are back with the Umi Digi A9 Pro all set up. Now I kind of love that background they've got going on there. It's quite nice. So we have Geek Geekbench 5 installed. And as we can see, we are on the A9 Pro. We are running Android 10 and it's the RM MT6771 for the CPU. So let's run the benchmark. Now, while we leave that to do that, let's just go over the specs. 
So the phone clocks in at £115 here in the UK. It runs, just as we mentioned, Android 10. That's just stock. There's no skin or anything over the top of that. It has a 4,150 milliamp battery. Its screen is 6.3 inches, and that comes in FHD. It's got the Helio 60 octa-core processor, as we can see just there. It runs 6 gigabytes of RAM with 128 gigabytes of storage and has micro SD card support. Obviously for a phone of this price at the moment it only supports 4G and we've already been over the cameras but we have a 48 megapixel main camera, a 16 megapixel ultra wide, a 5 megapixel macro, the infrared camera and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. And I will be right back with you once this benchmark has finished. And we're back after that Geekbench score has finally come in. So we've got a single core of 275 with a multi-core score of 1,272. And as you can see, just the information there. Just some comparisons of where it would slot in with. So unfortunately it falls behind all of these with being 275. Falls just below the Redmi Note 8. The multi-core score settles just between the Redmi Note 7 and the Redmi Note 8 as well. So for that price point of £115, I mean you can't go too far wrong with this kind of design. It's got bag full of features. Now let's just see if we can find that temperature. There we go. So temperature out of range, try measuring forehead. Hold your device. So I am 36.3. Again. So that seems to be giving a pretty reliable reading. A little bit different on the back of my hand there. So that is pretty cool, don't you think? So it even gives you the, the layout of whether it's good, medium or obviously dangerous. And you can measure the temperature of objects as well. And it then shows you all the records that you've taken recently. So wow, yeah, that is, that is the Umi Digi A9 Pro. There's just the temperature sensor there, fingerprint sensor, and as I've said before, I do like this shiny back, but unfortunately it is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. So thank you for tuning into into today's video even. If you've enjoyed this video, please a sub to the channel would be awesome, a like down below, and if you've got any comments, please let me know by dropping them down below. I will try and answer them as soon as possible. Thank you very much, stay safe, and I will catch you in the next one. Oh, yeah, yeah.